tonight as the colossal combatants contend for control. Megamorpho's suit battery is running dangerously low, while Roxilla's inability to drink from his keg has caused his blood alcohol level to dwindle. The residents of Beertropolis have begun to return to work, oblivious to the Titans clashing above them in a sepulchral stalemate. It seems as though this standoff will never cease. But wait, what's this? Dog has finally stopped licking his nether regions and springs into action, leaping straight for the beast's jugular. His bite is true, and the beast roars in pain. Fear spews from this ruptured neck as he crashes to the ground. Millions perish due to the fact that he is very fat. But that's just collateral damage, and we mustn't let it distract from the fact that Megamorpho has won the day. The surviving citizens rejoice, dressed in their brand new Megamorpho tees. Statues are built in his honor. Parades are held. The corpse of Godzilla is repurposed into an amusement park for children. The beast is finally defeated, and Beertropolis can finally know peace. For now. Commemorate this epic battle with the limited edition poster. Available for seven days only, the Battle of Beertropolis poster is printed on the highest quality museum grade paper and will make a fine addition to the wall of your room, cave, or dungeon. Available in sizes from the ample A3 to the gargantuan AO that stands at over a meter tall. You don't want to miss this luxuriously lavish lithograph. Order now from shirtswithaz.cool. Wow, what a great animation. Max, I hate you now. I actually hate you. Yes. Belle, what did you think of that animation? Wow, I, I <laughs> like that so much. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome to Cold Ones. I'm your host, Anything Views. Joining me today is my co-host, Max Mofo. Hello. And thank you to today's sponsors. Cool shirts. Have a shirt with Cool and use code Cold Ones for ten percent off. Gamer Subs. Head to Gamer Subs GG and use code Cold Ones for ten percent off. And go into the description. You can claim one thousand free sample packs right now. Today's guest <laughs> is the first woman on the show. A very lovely lady and an e girl. Can I say that? Yes. Um, cringe, yes. Welcome, Belle Delphine, to the show! Yay! Welcome. Good Can you add in you. some trumpets? Oh, yeah, anything you want added, just ask live and Prezzo will add it. Tell him now, tell him to add something. Add a little frog going along the screen and make it eat chat. <laughs> make it tear his head off. <laughs> What's your liquor of choice today, Belle? Smanoff vodka bottle. Mm, it's alright, I'll give it a pass. Max, what's your liquor of choice? Yeah, you guys will like this one. Hold on. It's a dragon! Is that- you can drink that? Are you gonna drink that? Yeah. It's brandy. What? <laughs> well, that makes my bottle look like shit. Did it come with the shot oh, glass? fuck. Oh, everywhere. nice. It's all over your keyboard now. Fuck. Alright, oh, cheers! Sorry. To the first female on guest on Cold Ones. Cheers. To Belle, cheers. Now, the first question we actually had for you, which you almost brought up before we started the recording, was something to do with your channel. Yeah, what the fuck's what going on there? Oh, w in, in what way do you mean? Where's the videos? Where did they go? They're all gone. Wait, my whole channel? No, there's three videos left on your YouTube channel. What? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't I even think this <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. I thought that's what you were gonna tell us about. No, I knew one had gone. There's only four. This is bullshit, bullshit. I literally checked last night and I was like, hang on, hang on a sec, something's missing. And yep, Susan completely zucked me, so. How many videos were there? It was, I think it was just like five or something, but they removed the I'm back one, which had like 34 right. mil views. So that was a bit of a kick in the ass. That's really weird because that was a music video, wasn't it? Yeah, and honestly, it was my least lewd one out of them. So I expect the my whole channel's gonna go down soon, probably. They, they usually th throw a lot of lenience towards stuff that's under the music category, especially when mm -hmm. it comes to music videos. And I watched that, and I, in comparison to some other rap videos, I didn't think it was any mm. worse. What about the other music videos that you had on there? Because pl uh, Plushy Gun is still on there. 
and there is at least another one or two. Did you remove those, or is those are those some of the ones Susan has also removed? Oh shit! They have she taken another even, one down. You don't down. even know. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> what this the is... fuck? Sorry for your loss. I didn't even know. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making me really <laughs> depressed. <laughs> Don't Good worry, enough start. Of that My whole we'll career is it. going down. Everything's getting deleted. I might as well just fucking sw swig this. Yes, yes. Oh. Good idea. Yeah. You just came off a hiatus as well. What was the reason for that? Was there any particular reason or you're just like, eh, fuck it? Um, well, that was because when my Instagram got taken down, I was like, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That's it. I'm. I'm. I can't make another Instagram because I tried and I got taken down. And I'm not a vlogger. I just can't. I can't do it. My life isn't that interesting. I find it. I can't make skits. I, that, I find that you know it takes so much time and you have to be so funny off the bat. And I just find that difficult as well. And I just didn't know what to do. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna quit. <laughs> fuck the internet, fuck you. I'm just gonna have fun. <laughs> what did you so do I in did, that time frame while you were gone? I was really sad at the beginning and then I just accepted it and then I started hanging out with friends because when before when I was working I really didn't meet up with any of my friends at all and I hardly saw my family. I'd probably see my family like I don't know once every one to two months and then I went to Korea which was fun. Mm. I drank lots of, um, we spoke what's it called? About that. Salt. Soju. Soju, that's it. And I I crafted a lot. I made lots of Halloween decorations because I like Halloween. You're quite handy with the crafting stuff because in the package that you sent us, there was a lot of really well done handmade stuff and stuff I was really shocked. Hey, Max has a piece right there. <laughs> yeah, this is probably one of so my, fun This is do. probably one of my favorite gifts I think anyone has given me, honestly. Can I just say that? There's a laptop there, and I actually put a like a tissue and like a yeah. like a cum patch, but like you didn't see that's it. The, and yeah, it had, well, that's um, the I'm surprised that's the only thing that's fallen down. Like everything know, else is in I'm, place I'm, because the a lot of the yeah. other ones were got rattled around quite a lot in the post. I think. Why was I disabled? <laughs> Well, I was just looking through, like I was looking through the options of Barbies, right? I wanted to find one similar to all of us. And then I just saw one that was in a wheelchair and I was like, ha, yes. And I thought it was funny. And I put you in a wheelchair, but I made it Hot Wheels themed. I put some flames on it, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, we're gonna have some out of the box, yeah, keep some in the box. I think I'd be the person anyway to be the one to keep it in the box. It's a good fit. <laughs> Shall we do another shot before we continue? Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is going well. I like this. This feels so strange oh. holding a fucking dragon. Oh, I don't know if I can do another. Sw I'll do another swig of Don. Oh, oh, Bell, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> woo, woo, woo. On your DMs, either Twitter or Instagram. Yeah. How many celebrities have DM'd you, like just trying to slide in? See, I I don't I, cause I don't follow a lot of people. So how do you see messages from people right. like just big people? I mean, ah, she's going to check now. Another world's first on the cold ones episode. I have people who <laughs> message me, but right, no one who really. They're just like, hey, <laughs> you know. Um, you went to the Pornhub Awards. So there are heaps of celebrities there, right? Yeah, but I really didn't speak to many. I was kind of just sat and sat in the corner like like twiddling my fingers being like fuck because that was the first time i've ever done anything in real life so it was very a little scary to me <laughs> is this the first time you're speaking on camera in like a podcast setting as well yeah yeah podcast yeah sweet i like yeah. that i've done interviews before but they just asked like how much did your bath water sell for how much did you make from it <laughs> and stuff like that so it wasn't really um anything so this is the first time like speaking yeah well in the same light what is the weirdest fan interaction you've had did people come up to you in real life anyone super creepy i feel like i've seen all the weird um sexual suggestions uh, <laughs> that's possible like even recently I had someone who is their kink is to inflate me so they want me to like like go 
like really fat and like you know have you seen willy wonka the girl who gets yes, to a blueberry yes. i've it's seen a lot kink. of uh, the inflation kink displayed with the yeah. sonic fandom i've seen a lot of deviant art drawings <laughs> there was another guy whose kink was i think it's mortal Kombat or street fighter one of those when like the girl dies they're in a dead position so there's like game over and then the girl's just like lying there dead. He requested, he paid so much to see me just act dead as if I were like a Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter fuck? character. And I was like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Where were these transactions? Is this just like through? Uh, just through OnlyFans. Oh, oh, you can pay like a custom amount through OnlyFans. Yeah, you a request. can tip. Oh. Yeah. Okay, what? Okay, can carry on. What else in, in the OnlyFans tip section? Something weird. Something <laughs> weird, Chad. <laughs> this is all pretty base. Like, this is pretty normal. Okay, Get Chad's, the okay. Shit. Chad's okay. into some shit. There's something that I've seen a lot recently, but I it's, it's hard to do for me, but um, breeding is a thing people get off on the idea that like to uh breed you like in pokemon <laughs> i think there's there's a few things that i just won't do and i think things that cross the border into like pregnancy is something that i just uh, don't okay. want to do you know <laughs> At the Pornhub Awards or any contact with Pornhub, did they ever offer you a set amount? Because you'll see, like, I, I don't know, like Celestia Vega and some other online influencers have done sex tapes in the past. Have you ever been offered a set amount for a sex tape? No, but I would do it. How much? What is it? How Five much? mil? I th 10 mil? I think... 20 mil. I think... 50 mil. 10 mil and I'll do anything. Anything? <laughs> yeah cash out just be like fuck it and then just like i don't know go on holiday or something and live in the bahamas and just be there and like rock back and forth be like my family hate me <laughs> i honestly don't think that that's too much of a stretch i feel like there's companies that would talk to you about that it's, it's almost strange that you haven't even had that conversation or they've not hit you up well she doesn't even yeah. check it yeah i guess you wouldn't you even know emails? i think you probably could <laughs> she's probably got one sitting there for 50 mil and they're rewriting it right now like she, she said 10 send her another email <laughs> okay okay 20 20. maybe 20, you'll get 20, an offer after deadline. this no i didn't <laughs> chad well because chad has a story about that chad have you disclosed that publicly before i haven't but i i think i told bell a little bit but um i do stuff with sexbo um and like i go to the advancement at bassa i do some hosting for them and stuff like that they pay me to appear and there were pornhub representatives at the sexbo parties and they, 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 when you talk to them, the first thing they ask was, oh, what's your Instagram? Or what do you do? And they bring it up. And the second thing they do is like, have you ever thought about, because my Instagram's got some pretty lewd photos on there. So the first question was, would you ever do porn? I was like, I was like, for how much? And he was like, I'd give you 50 grand. And up between conversations back and forth throughout the night, he was like, I'd get you 200 grand for a sex tape. So that's what makes me be like, surely Belle Delphine could, you know, it would have to be, starting at a couple of million like base level i mean it would be kind of cool because i feel like i'm right on the cusp right i've never shown real nudity mm -hmm. and i think to see like someone who's like you know kind of played out like oh am i gonna show you oh maybe not oh today maybe are you gonna get it today and then going from that to like full-on porn i think someone wants to see it god you can't undo it though because it's like the the True. machine that you've the machine you've built now is obviously extremely successful and profitable and it's like once you cross that boundary you don't want to sell it for two less than what you're worth like you don't want to get scammed but at the same time like this job only lasts for a certain amount of time and i think when I'm 30, I want to be doing, I really want to be doing something else that's not right. this. Mm. <laughs> the bath water, was it real? Yes. And how yes. long did it take to fill up that many jars of bath water? And how many- And how long did you soak in that? And how many baths did you have to take? So I did it in like intervals, like just cause I didn't know how many people would order this. I just kind of did it because I could. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to see if I could. I mean, it, um, so I kind of, I'd go in the bath 
and then just like chill out play some like podcast or some show or something and just fill it up and scoop it out and then you know i probably have like a hundred for one bath and then i go in the next bath and like do it again so it was real bath water yeah how many baths around seven seven baths. and what podcast seven. were you listening to <laughs> cold ones right of course the cold ones yeah and i was okay. also wearing cool shirts in the bath obviously okay okay <laughs> I, I i remember when you sent more bath water in the jar and we drank it in that video it tasted like soap so i was like did you put a bath bomb in it? No, I don't think so. That's just my natural essence. There was an, at no point where you were like, I'm just gonna fill this fucking thing up with water from the tap and just drop it. You were like, um, okay, I, I'm adamant. I'm gonna finish the job. I'm gonna have seven <laughs> baths and I'm gonna fill them up. Well, I kind of like indulging in the insanity of what I'm doing. So I was kind of like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna live this weird life for a couple of days where I just take baths <laughs> every day. And that was the whole fun of it. I enjoyed that. Where did the inspiration come from to do that? I love selling things and I love like shipping things out and like cute packages and stuff. So that I was kind of thinking of something to sell. And I think what spurred me off was like, you know, the whole warm panties thing, but I was like, I've seen that before. Right. And then I remember thinking like, oh, what's something, you know, people always joke about like, oh, toenails in a jar or like my hair in a jar and I can't grow toenails that quick and I'm not gonna cut my hair. So I was kind of thinking on that wavelength and then bath water just came as an option. And then I thought about it and I was like, is this legal? And then <laughs> <laughs> it was. So I was like, fuck it, yes, I'll do that. There was that fake article about the herpes or whatever that spread. Cause I remember everyone was <laughs> talking about that as if it was real, that was like a uh, satirical news yeah. headline or something. Yeah. How did that affect real. you? Or did you wait? Like, I, I feel like you waited at least a week before you were like, this is not real. Um, I wrote something about it back on my Instagram and I just said, that this isn't real. Cause there was also another article where like someone went to hospital right. and I mean, all these things, even though they're bad are still kind of good. So I just kind of, I like, the thing is with the internet, I'm on the same track as everyone else. I enjoy fun stories. I enjoy fun videos, even if they're fake. If it's like the hype around it, it's good press. It's always good press. Yeah, yeah. Let people indulge in this like stupid storyline that I sent someone to hospital for a day. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so I just let that happen. And then after a week, I was like, by the way, it's not real. That's good. <laughs> good move. Good business move. In the care package you sent us, it had on a mug. It said, give me back my hamster. Yeah. And I didn't get the reference at first, but after the video, mm -hmm. Scott and Max explained the law to me. I wasn't really caught up with the Bella Delphine law. Yeah. Ah, you gotta take a shot, spray. Chad. I said a name wrong. Fuck. We had a secret. Did you? We had a secret rule. Chad says Bella. Why do people do this? I don't know. I, I actually right, saw I, Bella. Half the videos I saw when I was like watching everything to do this podcast, half of them were saying Bella, and Ch also Chad's dog's name is Bella, so. <laughs> My dog's name is Bella. So Hello, like, Bella. I get it mixed up. Anyway, That's we said fine. if Chad what says Bella, mean? he has to do a shot, so. You wanna do the shot for me? You wanna take the alcohol? Can dogs drink alcohol? No. Let's no. find out. I don't think they can, Chad. <laughs> fake. <laughs> Fake. <laughs> it wasn't fake. So. Hamster thing. We want to know if it's real. Is this a real thing? It also, explain the story first. Yeah. And was it for publicity? And was it fake? Okay, so the story was that I got arrested. And the reason why I got arrested was because somebody at a party stole my hamster. And so I... <sighs> like graffiti their car that was the story right mm -hmm. <laughs> is it true <laughs> or is it fake <laughs> it's um it was fake <laughs> so, but i'll explain the thought process behind it so there was in fact a party which i did indeed have and at this party i do have hamsters i've got two hamsters 
And at this party, this girl who I didn't know, she was invited to the party and she like took out my hamster and just didn't put it back in the cage. So obviously I woke up, I found my hamster like walking around and I what was like, dude, fuck? what the <laughs> fuck? Like, why did she do this? Um, so I put it back and then obviously that made me really angry because you don't just do that. And then, with someone's hamster. Exactly, exactly. And then a few weeks later goes by and I was kind of looking online and you know how mug shots go really viral like right. you know paris hilton mug shot or like this really attractive guy's oh, yeah. mug yeah, shot yeah that black they, guy that was like the sexiest mug shot yeah I remember that yeah, was they, yeah they always go really well so i was like so this is where i came from i was like right that that's a good story bell delphine got arrested take the mug shot photo now i need to think of a backstory wait the mug shot photo was fake yes Oh, I didn't that get arrested. Looked, that looked so real, that mugshot. <laughs> I've seen that mugshot. Thank That's how you. I picture a mugshot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So I needed to now, so now that I was arrested, I needed to think of a crime that wouldn't make people actually hate me. So I was thinking, okay, what does everyone collectively love? Animals, everyone loves animals. So if I do something bad, like to, on behalf of animals, people won't be like, oh, fuck her, she did a crime. People, everyone will be like, yes. So that's what I did. And this very same day I was like, right, I'm gonna say someone came to my ha house, did what that girl did with my hamster, but instead stole it. And then I'm gonna be like, fuck you. I'm gonna fuck up your car. So the very same day I went out, I bought a car, brought it back, spray painted it and then posted it. The Damn. The very so that, same day. That image is actually OC. Oh yeah, I, I did spray paint that the car. That's quite impressive. Yeah. So that the story is built on pillars of truth and then yeah. the actual spray painting car photo was also real and it was yeah. carefully assembled to be a viral piece. Yeah. You're a fucking genius. <laughs> Can we see the hamsters in real life? I want to see them. Yeah. Where are they at? You want to see, see them? the hamsters too. Do you yeah. want to get them? Yeah. Okay. Just make on. sure you put them back in the cage. Where oh, they come? Here they come. Oh, they. Oh god, they're actually real. I thought it was another made-up thing. Oh my god, what's that? Oh. What's that one's name? It's Polly. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Gee, she it's just Polly. woke up. Oh, yeah. Polly. Is that a guinea pig? Do no, it, hamsters and guinea pigs are different. Are they? We don't okay. really get hamsters in Australia. We get guinea pigs. Like that's what we buy, I think. I've had 27 hamsters in my life. I'm a hamster obsessed person. What that's happened funny. to the other 25? Stolen. They only lived like two years. Yeah, stolen. I have a Scott fact of the day about hamsters. He sent me a message. <laughs> hamsters are prohibited in Australia and one cannot be imported. At, one cannot import any hamsters as a pet. The authorities said that the hamsters may then reproduce so much that they ha then will have to affect the flora and fauna ne negatively. I don't fucking know what this means. Fauna and fact flora on means present. animals and plants, Chad. The only reason I knew what a hamster was is because of... Hamtaro back there. I oh, think that was yes, one. Hamtaro. Yeah. That was yes. like the the anime you'd wake up at eight o'clock in the morning to watch. I think that started my obsession with hamsters, to be honest. Okay, I have a segment. Unfortunately, the video is deleted now, so that kind of sucks for reference. Yeah. But the the Six Nine Goober parody music video. Yeah. I would like to go through some of these lyrics. Oh god, okay. And do a, uh, a bit of a, a genius lyric oh, analysis. Oh, okay, I like this. Yeah. Who actually regrets me? <laughs> My mother. <laughs> Lil Titty's big ass and no dad. What did you mean by that? <laughs> is that all parody? Or no. what is your actual relationship with your mother I, and your father? I have no dad and... I think my mom probably does regret <laughs> me, maybe a little bit. Um, I think, I mean, at the same time, no, because she, she was a model. Proud so of you, I think the moment that changes for all parents, when you know how we kind of do the same kind of thing, you know, we're on the internet, it's hard to explain to our parents. And Money. Yeah. The, the changing factor is when you're like, you know, I don't, you know, I, I'm just gonna move out now. And I think that, you know, I think that's the moment that it kind of clicked for her that what I'm doing isn't some, 
you know, cringy, you know, I take photos of myself and I'm really cool online, mum, sort of thing. I think when it's like, you know, okay, I'm, I'm gonna move out now. I think that's the moment where there's, a, you know, it changes to a job. And I think parents right. start seeing it as an actual job. But obviously, would she prefer me to do something else? Of course, of course. Would I want something Does different? She know, from, yeah. Does she know the level of money that you're making from that? Or is that kind of just super vague? I don't really speak about it with her. I think, right. I think you know, she sees that I live in a, you know, a really nice place. I love it. She loves it. And I think... This, this success speaks for itself, yeah. Like, the first thing that I, like, bought with my money was, like, a Christmas present for her, and it was a fridge, because her fridge was really, really bad. So, I just thought, like, I, the one thing that I wanted, right, this was my level. I, whenever I went to friends' houses, and they had a fridge with an ice machine, I was like, what the fuck? I remember like, I, doing that exact yeah. same thing. I never had an ice machine on my fridge and I was like, ah, it's a rich person's fridge. Have you seen what like a, a fucking new level rich person fridge looks like? It's like connected to the internet. They got a screen, screen on it or something. Yeah. I saw yeah. one when I, when I was fridge shopping, I saw one um, where you, you tap on it, right? And the screen has a camera showing what's in it. But I was yeah. like, just so you open, have to open the your fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but open it. Open it. If you go shopping and you forget that you don't have a list, you can look at your in the inside of your fridge to see what ingredients you're missing, because you can check what's inside. Yeah, and but then buy yeah, but you open my stuff. fridge and it's like fuck, you can't see anything. There's like, like it's like <laughs> three month old like meat in there and like it's rotting and it's like. So I would have no idea. How old are you? Just uh, is that public? How old are you? Twenty. Yeah, it's public. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was like that at twenty years old. <laughs> fucking sauce bottles in the back that are from fucking nineteen seventy two that you haven't changed. <laughs> Shut the me. fuck up, Chad. Show us your fridge. I bet it looks. My insane. fridge is really well done. Do you want me? I, I'll film it right now. I'll put it in the group chat. My fridge is nice. <laughs> Hang on. Look at my fridge in the group chat, Max. I'm not going on this fucking fridge tangent. I'm just proving a point. My fridge is nice. That is a nice fridge. Go film your fridge. No, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I just say before we move on, like, I think my mum's just glad that I'm doing something because before I wasn't doing anything. So I dropped out of school really young. So I can't really get like um, a normal job unless someone likes I don't know, like my mum helps me at whatever, wherever she's working or something. So I think right. she's just glad that I'm doing something because I wasn't before. Yeah, I remember no matter how big that I got on YouTube or what I was doing, it would never ha cross over to my parents' line of vision for success until I remember my mum saw me on TV on like some shitty local <laughs> channel and she was like, Oh, you're on TV. Oh, you're famous now. You're on TV. And I was like, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I'm on the local news. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> yes, I'm a gamer. Also, taxpayer. What did you mean by that? Well, do you pay your taxes? Yes, yes. That was the one thing because I'm, I'm so scared. I've always been really scared about being told off whether that's like at school or by you know family members or something like that or even I don't know strangers or something so that was the first thing I <laughs> I got I got ripped off a bit I paid this like tax um what are they called the people who help you with tax accountants accountants yeah I got an <laughs> I, I got yeah. an accountant and he kind of like rip me off a bit because I, you know, when when new people get into this whole internet thing, you know, usually people, I mean, I had no idea about how finances work to any of this stuff. So I got ripped off a bit, right. but then I found someone who was good and I made sure to do that. But there was a thing that was going around the internet of people who were like telling what IRS about the IRS, yeah, yeah about yeah. like sex workers yeah, and well, stuff. Yeah, well, bringing back to the other thing, there was another fake article about you as well mm -hmm. with the not paying taxes or IRS makes Bell Delphine pay uh, unpaid uh, premium Snapchat yeah. taxes. N not true at all. I'd be yeah. so scared. What was another fake 
folk yeah. shitty thing, yeah. Um, so don't believe everything you read on the internet, obviously. Now I know. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so weird being on the other perspective of it and then being, you know, just being like doing normal, like what I do, normal stuff, and then just seeing articles pop up about you, like you did this and you did that. And it's like, bro, right. I just been like in my room doing nothing. What are you talking about? I did that, yeah. what? I think one thing that I kind of, understood very quick was this stuff happens right rumors spread and i think one thing i kind of realized was there's nothing i can do to stop it people will believe it so what if i just use it to propel you know to just mm -hmm. like put in loads of fake stories and then people don't even know what's real or false anymore and i've just put out so much shit that people's like oh is this true is this not and just go on this wild adventure and just follow the as way, long as you're really. the person that they're talking about it's like it's always impressive to do yeah i suppose so hey bell can you give it prezzo an edit order please make a duck scream and then die wow prezzo wow. that was horrific really good. one more drink before we get on to the final round of questions of exposing All right, bell Delphine. let's do the final shot let's do the final shot ladies and gentlemen make it a big one bell i believe in you i believe come you on bell that fucking bottle has not moved no max don't pour a shot drink out of its tail hole i'll drink this then i'll suck out of its asshole <laughs> what's, the, what's the toast to? the hamsters um, what are their names the hamsters polly the polly what's the other one saying said he had two. Jingle. J jingle. To Polly and Jingle. Woo! May they never be stolen. <laughs> now, I have something to ask, which I should have asked at the start of the episode, but I'm stupid. But what was your blow up? What was the original thing that you did, done, do, photo, picture, video, that you did on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, that was like money? I think the first thing that went big was the Ahigao face. I just did a video and I Can just- you do that um, face for us? No, Please I can't because I know Please you'll use it. it for the thumbnail. Oh and my it will look God. shit. Please do it for Please. the thumbnail. No. I'll, do my, I'll do mine and you do <laughs> yours. Let's, let's see Chad's best fucking attempt first. <laughs> look wait, wait. up. Yeah, you have to lean back and cross your eyes. That's pretty good. I've actually got like a whole technique for it, but I am not gonna. Okay, oh, just show it, just show it off. Just show it off. Can you at least talk us through it? What your technique is? Okay, what I do is, you know how you roll your eyes up? I like to have it where one eye's more open than the other, like like that. Can, does that show off? I don't know. Right. You roll one eye up, one eye's like kind of closed. Then what I do is I roll my, my lip up to make it tight like thin okay. right and then you stick your tongue out but instead of doing it fat like you know if you stick your tongue out like this it's fat <laughs> this it, it's it's fat but if you go you can thin it like that see which one looks better right how do you do that how do you make your tongue thick and fat yeah you just make it thin point I can't it do point that. it i don't know how to do that uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Chad saw it. That looks thin. That looks thin, Chad. That, that's good. No, nah, the eyes, the eyes suck, Chad. Roll it hurts them my jaw. Roll it your, hurts. Uh, you need to roll them back. Roll your focus further towards the uh, middle. Right. The fuck is that? Roll You're your eyes backwards. In. Yeah, and, now, and towards the middle. Towards the middle. Yes. Towards the that's middle, Chad. It. Towards the middle of your nose. Oh, you. Yep, that's pretty good. If you were sexy. <laughs> if, you were, if you were a sexy woman, I think that's pretty good. Come on, Belle, do it, and we won't use it for the thumbnail. Just do it for us, for the video format. Just once. Go. Go. We'll cut it. You oh. cut it if it sucks. <laughs> wow. That's hey. pretty good. Tell us about living and growing up in South Africa before moving to the UK, and how old were you when you did that? So I lived, I think, nine years in South Africa. It feels like it didn't happen almost because I really segment, like, segment my life, like, between living there and living here because it feels so different. It's like I was just put on one planet and then put on the other. 
so it was beautiful south africa is like such a beautiful place and there are things that i look back at which were normal in my childhood that um kind of like surprises me now like the fact that all my bedroom windows had like bars and stuff on them and what? we had like three why yeah, it's because of um safety reasons safety is like the biggest thing in south africa i mean so many of my friends my mom's Man. friends got like hijacked in like the car and stuff because like people want to steal your car i remember going to like school so many times and there'd be a brick in our car window and we just have to get like a taxi home um wow. there was no way that i'd be able to walk around anywhere by myself because it was you know it was just like that but i viewed life from such a child like child's perspective that for me all i saw was the fact that i'd be able to go to the beach and it was beautiful and we lived on the mountain and we had <laughs> like baboons in our garden and stuff and it'd be amazing and things like that so i view it from such a nice perspective but um when i got older my mom would tell me like stories that would happen and i'd be like oh shit wow i was just playing and i didn't even realize any of this was happening like my mom told me a story child. where yeah my mom told me a story where she was just in the garden and she was just on her phone and she had um friends like she was babysitting for a friend's a uh, child next to her so it was just her in the garden and then someone jumped over the brick wall stole her phone and then like ran off in in your own garden jesus sort of thing. christ yeah fuck. so it's um it's it's so strange because i kind of lived in a childhood where i'd drive by slums to go to school and it was just normal for me it was just um just a different way of living i suppose and um do, you, do your parents still or your family still live in um south africa or are they all immigrated to the uk uh my dad lives there so that's how my mom and dad met my mom went because my mom's english and my mom went over there and met my dad and that's kind of how it happened and i was a happy mistake <laughs> Well, Belle, we come to the end of Cold Ones. I'm fucked, I'm fucky, and honestly, it's been a pleasure having you on through and through. Everything that we spoke about, whether it made it on camera or not. Oh yes, subscribe to the Patreon for the unextend <laughs> the extended cut. I say we do one more drink for the secret shit from the shop bottle in Belle's name for being the first female guest on Cold Ones. And honestly, one of the realest guests. I want to come on again. I feel like I haven't said anything. It's been when... a couple of hours. I feel like you've said some things. Okay, I've, I've <laughs> said, I've said, I have said some things. <laughs> but I want to come again. This has been so fun. Well, um, I tell you what, when COVID gets canceled we'll by do the K-pop stands, when the K-pop mm. stands ran, ran together and they canceled COVID, We'll be on the first flight to the UK to have a drink with you, to film with you, to hang out with you, to drink with you and your friends and everything. It's something that I will add to my list, my to-do list, that will be like, before I die, drink with Belle Delphine. So together yes. we will all have one more shot for Belle Delphine for coming on the show. Thank you very much. You're going to have to drink another one. I know you just drank one, but you're going to have to have another one. I'm sorry. Lost. <laughs> Fucking Christ, can't. Cheers. For Man. Gryffindor. <laughs>